The Legend of Roro Jonggrang Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Prambanan. All the people of Prambanan lived peacefully. But then, Prambanan kingdom was attacked and occupied by the Pengging kingdom. Prambanan then was ruled by Bandung Bondowoso of Pengging kingdom. He was a main king and also had a great supernatural power. His soldiers were not only humans, but also genies. The king of Prambanan had a beautiful daughter named Roro Jonggrang. One day, Roro Jonggrang was told by the guardian that his father died in Bandung Bondowoso's hands. While Bandung Bondowoso fell in love with Roro Jonggrang and wanted to marry her. Roro Jonggrang was shocked after heard that. She didn't like Bandung Bondowoso because he was a mean person. She wanted to refuse but she was afraid that Bandung Bondowoso would be angry and endangered the people of Prambanan. Then, she came up with a plan. If you want to marry me, you have to build a thousand temples for me in just one night, said Roro Jonggrang. What? That's impossible, said Bandung Bondowoso. But he didn't give up. He consulted with his advisor. Your majesty can ask the genies to help build the temples, said the advisor. So, Bandung Bondoso summoned his entire genie soldier and commanded them to help him a thousand temples. The genies worked in unbelievable speed. Meanwhile, Roro Jonggrang heard from the serpent that the building of a thousand temples was almost finished. She was so worried, but again, she came up with a great idea. She asked all of her servants to help her. Please prepare a lot of straw and mortar. Please, hurry up, said Roro Jonggrang. Burn the straw and make some noise pounding the mortar, quickly! All the servants did what Roro Jonggrang ordered them, making the genies sing that the sun is going to rise. It's already dawn! We have to go! said the leader of the genies to Bandung Bondowoso. All the genies immediately stopped their work and ran for cover from the sun, which they were afraid of. They didn't know that the light was from the fire that burnt the straw, not from the sun. Bandung Bondowoso couldn't stop the genies from leaving. He was angry. He knew Roro Jonggrang had just tricked him. You can fool me, Roro Jonggrang. I already have 999 temples. I just need one more temple. He pointed his finger to Roro Jonggrang and said some mantras. Magically, Roro Jonggrang's body turned into stone. Until now, the temple is still standing in Prambanan area, central Jaffa.